good evening students uh, in the previous lecture uh, we did uh, the line wise explanation of the poem the solitary reaper so today we will attempt uh, the analysis of the poem stanza wise okay and uh, we will also review the central idea which has been given in the poem so as we have discussed it earlier uh, this poem the solitary reaper by william wordsworth is a romantic ballad okay and it is set in the rural area so um, wordsworth got inspiration to write this poem from a village in scotland which he visited along with his sister in 1803 and i have also shown you the picture of that place so now we will analyze the poem uh, stanza wise okay now the poem has been divided into four stanzas if you see stanza 1 stanza 2 stanza 3 and stanza 4 okay so it has been divided into four stanzas and each stanza has eight lines okay so in the first stanza the poet says that one day while traveling he sees a lass a young girl far away on high land that is a hilly area okay and that girl was alone over there and what she is doing she is reaping the crops and singing songs by her self there is no one else over there so the poet asks the passers by to stop there and listen to her song or they can also gently pass that is they can go away silently without disturbing her so what the solitary reaper is doing uh, she is cutting and binding the grains and is also singing a very sad song a melancholy strain so the poet asks the passers by to listen to her as her song is so melodious and sad that the whole uh, valley is echoing with her sad song in stanza 2 the poet compares uh, the voice of the solitary reaper with that of the nightingale right now note that in romantic poetry the sound of the nightingale is described as very melodious and welcoming then after that he has talked about the voice of the cuckoo and arabian sands okay now uh, you must understand the concept of arabian sands which is mentioned in the second stanza now in arab there are deserts in which it takes months for people to cross them so many times they forget the way or either they die because of the extreme heat um and thirst so in such a desert if weary bands that is tired travelers who may be taking rest under the shady haunt that is the shade of desert tree if they happen to hear the nightingale's chanting song it will be the most joyful voice for them why because they will come to know that it is the end of the dread desert it is the um arrival of the spring so the poet says that the voice of solitary reaper is more melodious and sweeter than that of the nightingale's voice mentioned above so just notice that what a brilliant example the poet has given to clear his point uh, 